Getting injured in sport and being a victim of unforeseen circumstances is an everyday norm. That's why most of the times you will need insurance. And our CEO this week is none other than the CEO of Britam Uganda, Mr. Alan Mafabi. Alan. Yes. You're most welcome to golf by Centrix. Thanks, Joel. You look yeah. so smart. Thank well, you. How often do you play golf? I'm a member of this club, incidentally. This beautiful facility. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm yet to start playing. Uh, but this is an encouragement now. So just uh, briefly tell us about yourself and your personal and professional journey. Thank you. Um, I'll take you back where it all started, uh, the mountains of Elgon, um, where life was really tough. But uh, we inspired by old man. Who didn't go to school, grew up at a tall fan, but said my children should go to school. Those days, of course, like most villages, you walk miles and miles on foot. All levels, similar thing, you carry your case for long journeys. Um, A levels were in trial college, which we call Eastern University. It was uh, a very competitive school because at that year, I think we were collecting all the best brains in all of all Eastern Uganda, all the schools. Yeah, so that was good. So we did university, I did Bachelor of Commerce, majored in insurance. By then, accounting was the best option. Yeah. I'm the only one who pulled out of the accounts class because I listened to that lecture and they said, this is where I want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it changed me totally. So well, the third year, I went to uh, insurance, joined the industry where I've been for the last 20 years. Uh, you've talked about leadership while in school. Yeah. For you as a CEO of Britain, yeah. how is your leadership? What skills do you, do you have to input in yourself and how do you keep your employees motivated? Very good, thank you. That, that's a very good question because uh, one challenge again we have, which makes me a little sad guy, so that I, I should say it. I've had quite a number of colleagues. About one month ago, this very place, that room over there, a, a, a consultant came from Nairobi and said, the first time he was sent to work in Uganda, he was told, make sure you slow down your speed because in Uganda they are lazy. They're, they're slow. slow. <laughs> very slow. <laughs> no, when he said that, I said, so now when you came here and work, do you want to believe that's the case? He said, mm. they said, you know what, you should come to Britain and I will show you that, yes, we never slow. I'm in office by 6 a.m. myself, yeah. by 7, the office full. So my team, I made them believe we can do what they believe is not possible. I tell them we have a special DNA as a company. What's our DNA? Whatever you do, you will subscribe to Formula 1 kind of thinking. The margins are thin. Very thin. Speed of execution is key. I keep telling them in this world which is changing so fast, it's not the big that will kill the small, like they say, but the fast that will clear the, the slow. I'm called the TC, team captain. You come there looking for a CEO, MD, you won't find me. You'll find the TC. A team captain plays with a, with a team. The manager is the one who stands on the touchline. You understand, yeah? So because of that, the guys are pulled close. And I build a team of leaders. Leaders that I can comfortably send anybody to represent me anywhere. And, and comfortable you're comfortable with it. That deliver, yeah. What what puts uh, Britam at the pinnacle of uh, the insurance uh, you know sector, uh, as to say, because it's a very competitive sector. That's right. And what services are you offering you know your customers? Thank you. Uh, what makes us stand out is that we say what we do and we do what we say, and we do it probably a little faster than most of the other players. Yeah. You can, you can see we have been here six years. As a Greenfield investment, we started at the last in terms of premium income. Number 22 out of 22 insurance companies. Joel, six years down the road, guess where Britain is from number last? Number? Number three. <laughs> Congratulations. No thank you, thank you, thank you, man. No company has ever done that. And simply because when we say we pay your claim within these timelines, that's exactly what we do. Our company is massive. Incidentally, it's the biggest in the Central African region. When seven countries, no company operating in Uganda is in more countries than we are. The IFC World Bank just invested. They're now the second largest shareholder of the Britain Group. The only company, insurance company in Sub-Saharan Africa, where the IFC World Bank has invested. You know IFC is the private investment arm of the World Bank. Yeah, yeah. So that again has given us a lot of uh, capacity and the, the team is energized to do even better because that's the vote of confidence in what we're doing. Last two, three in six years. That's no mean feat. 
what do you guys do? What are you doing to make sure you're strengthening your position in the market? Now, th that's a very good question because one, there's getting there and, and they're staying there. Thank you. I'm staying there. We are not even staying there. We're actually shooting for. We're going past. Stop, yes. <laughs> I keep telling the guys, once we overtake, we don't look in the rearview mirrors. Okay? We look through the windscreen and keep for, uh, for, for pushing ahead. I keep telling the team, every single day, learn to challenge the you of yesterday. yesterday. That's the best way to keep incremental development. Okay? And that has challenged the team. If I did X number of policies yesterday, today I must do X plus one, two, three. Mm. Yeah? And again, we ensure every business we get is renewed. And how can you ensure that? Claim service. For us, insurance is about paying claims. You can talk about all the good things. IFC World Bank investing you. We own 9% of Equity Bank Group. That's mm. big share. That's big. That's, That's big. big. In the region, is big, yeah. The 10% is probably bigger than some banks here. We own 48% of Housing Finance Bank of Kenya. That's a massive bank. Yeah. So we're big in property as well. Asset management. We just started our company in Uganda for asset management. So the group has a clear leadership. And our strategy is led by none other than the famous... Bansko card authors, yeah. Dr. Dave Norton oh, and Kaplan. Yes. So basically that tells you. So we're using the top that's used by the top corporates across the world. Those are the guys getting our strategy and execution. Because every company has strategy. What differentiates the winners from the others is execution. Execution. And I keep telling guys, execute, execute, execute. So Alan, in our yes. line of work, um, especially yes. where I work, uh, you'll get people coming to insurance, coming yes. to to offer you juicy packages, you know, to mm. encourage you yes, yes, to, yes. to subscribe with them. Is there something unique that Britam is offering your clients? Some, a juicy package that, that Britam is offering clients to make them, you know... Yeah, th th thanks, Joel. When it's about juice and unique, in fact, almost everything about Britam has been juicy and unique. What others have been doing actually is copying, pasting what we've been doing. Yeah, to be honest with you, I will talk about motor insurance. We revolutionized the change around the extras that somebody gets when you buy comprehensive insurance, what we call real comprehensive. Two, three years down the road, everybody has copied that. But before they copy that, we are a step ahead. That's why I keep telling the team, always be a step ahead of the competition. Otherwise, by the time, we know they're going to copy anyway. Yeah. Even personal accidents, one of our flagship products is uh, one of those where we offer exceptional extras. Yes. But one thing we will not get at Britain, is lower price. That one I, I can assure you because you know it's cheap. <laughs> if you're looking for cheap, yeah, 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 then you won't get it. You're not yeah. in the right place. Yeah, currently our top clients, Central Bank, MTN, um, Civil Aviation, National Water, almost all top government corporate, NSSF. That tells you in six years you have all the top <laughs> And tell you something, what this space? There's something big going to happen in Britain within a few months from now. Ah. That's what is best. As yeah. we show you the top. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Alan, from what I've seen, you, you having to wake up to be at office by 6.30, you having to, you know, settle claims from uh, clients, you having to deal with your workers, with your partners, yeah. sounds like you're quite a busy, busy, busy man. Uh, do you ever get time for yourself? And if so, what do you do when you get the free time? Uh, thanks, Joel. Uh, th that's indeed a challenge. Work-life balance. Uh, wh what I do, because I come in very early, also happen to live early because I don't tolerate traffic. That enables me to relax, to refresh the mind, play with my little prince and princess. And with that, it gives me now to be time to begin again working. It's all been work, 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 work. Because to show to the top, you must actually, because we say we are available 24 7. And that's true because any of my managers, you can shoot an email at midnight, be sure, the return will be the first company to get to you. Any time of day or night. And because of that, it means there's little time for myself. And that's why. I'm a, a member of golf, but I'm not yet even, I'm just starting. You're just starting. Good play, yes. <laughs> and I also read a lot. Uh, you know, I keep telling you the team, if you don't keep learning, then you'll become obsolete. Yeah. So I also read a lot, but it's not about how much you read again. It's about how that transforms your life, your thought process. For the person who's watching you outside right now, and, yes, and, yes, and yes. they're looking at you and your story resonates with them, and mm -hmm. I think I mean call them millennials for lack of a better word. Yes, yes. Um, what kind of advice would you have for them to keep them working? The millennials, I challenge the leadership of the companies because the things we do, because we, they have worked in the past, but the millennials are thinking differently. Yeah. There are a lot of disruptions. Mm. Social media, mm. for example, yeah. Mm. You know, Peter Drucker said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. So I keep telling them, 
What are you doing to be part of the team that's creating the future? Where are we heading? You know, they say the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your thoughts. Mm. What you think is what you will say from you, yes. And whatever you, you say, you should have thought about it first. What your thoughts, they become your words. What your words, they become your actions. What your actions, they become your character. And that way, keep walking Uganda. Fantastic. It was great to have you, but we're not leaving you yet. Yes. We have something special coming up. Oh, okay. We have a CEO golf challenge. Now, I know you don't get enough time to, to play on golf. Yes, yes, yes. But we've brought you here today, and we're going to put you through a challenge. Now, now Joel, you're making a mistake. Because there are no other CEO for me to beat. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be surprised. I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you about the leaderboard. Yes, just yes. after the break. And then you will tell me if you can match you, you, you know what we like as Britain? Mm. Is to intimidate you and beat you when you're watching. <laughs> no, no, not seeing the records. So. I hope you can back it up. Oh, yeah. Sure. Fantastic. You, can, you can be very sure about Fantastic. that. Fantastic. Oh, and now it's been... No. Yes! 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 Oh. So welcome back, Alan. Thank you. Thanks, Joel. We're on this part three at this uh, beautiful facility. Indeed. And let me just take you through the specifics. Yes, uh, You're supposed to hit the ball closest to the pin. I'll give it a shot. You'll give it a shot? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's see how you'll do. Thank you. Good. Good. Ah, Alan. Yes. I heard you remember at this uh, Victoria Lake. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that's that's right. But he, it's a shame that I've never played uh, that member. You need to utilize that membership here, my friend. The, the, what you guys have done for me, you brought me out now, and I've enjoyed this. I'm like, okay, I'm yeah. gonna start. So we've had a couple of CEOs on the show uh, with uh, you know scores basing from 1.8 to. 100 plus. Yes. How do you think you fared? Okay, I should have done at least the top quartile. Well, uh, let me just bust your bubble mm. because you got a score of 108 feet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's, uh, for somebody who really doesn't get enough time to play golf, it's not a bad score. You can always improve it. Good, good. Yeah? I definitely will. Fantastic. You big on music? You know, at times you, you want to have a clear thought you actually drive a long distance with no music at all, no nothing. So sometimes, but yes, sometimes you need it to cool down and relax and it's soothing, man. Any, any artist in particular or any song in particular? Oh, I think of Arakele, I believe I can fly because I'm only thinking you can always be. And today you are, you, you are flying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good having you on the show. Britain is going places. I mean, from number 20 something to number three, it's no mean feat. And it tells you you're doing something right. Th thank you so much. I really appreciate this. I believe I Can Fly by R. Kelly will wind up the show today. And of course, here on Golf by Centrix, we believe you can fly. Many thanks to our special partners and special thanks, in fact, to Uganda Birds Limited, Lake Victoria Serena Resort for offering us this beautiful facility. And Matthias Schumann for dressing me up. Of course, if you want to look like this, visit him at Kisamenti Rwanda for flying us across the region. And of course, Johnny Walker, keep walking. Uganda. Till next time. Bye-bye. This is Golf by Centrix. Johnny Walker, keep walking.